Oh, yeah! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to The Fringe. When we discuss identity politics in this country, I've always said that, you know, nothing is malleable, that uh, when somebody says their pronouns, how they identify, uh, that's your business. But I don't have to participate in that acknowledgement. Yet the Canadian government is always telling you that you do. A recent report coming out or a recent survey coming out now begs the question of should I be paying taxes in my country anymore? How do I identify and how does the government see things? I wanted to bring this to your guys' attention today. It's not going to be a very lengthy video, but but by any means, it, the stretch, um, it's worth taking a look at. Uh, good friend of the channel here, Jack Dan, tweeting out last week, what do you mean by I do not recognize the province of Alberta, but live in a nation or a region, sorry, with the geographic boundaries of what is known as the province of Alberta? So I, I know what they're getting at here. I think that they're they're again, bending the knee to the indigenous or anybody who says that the land was colonized or whatever it is. Uh, clearly the government of Canada hates Alberta. We know that we've known that for a long time. Let's take a look at this survey that comes out. The, the alphabet poverty in Canada in providing improving, sorry, livelihood and social well-being draws on research supported by the social sciences and Humanities Research Council. The six-year project is the first national study in the alpha, alphabet poverty in Canada and has been awarded a partnership grant of $2.5 million from Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council of Canada. Again, $2.5 million to start a survey. And the first question of it, do you live in Alberta? Why does that matter? Do you live in Alberta? Yes, no. I do not recognize the province of Alberta, but live in a region with the geographic boundaries of what is known as the province of Alberta. Why does that matter? Why are they getting $2.5 million of taxpayers' money? Guys, when I talk about NGOs, when I talk about why I pushed when I was running for mayor of Calgary, that the first thing I wanted to do was eliminate the money that our municipality puts out to NGOs. This is why $2.5 million to do an alphabet community study where the first question is, is do you live in Alberta? Because if so, we don't care. We don't want to take you seriously. Um, Here's the first thing of spycraft. If I don't recognize the boundary of a given province or jurisdiction, do I still have to pay taxes when I go there? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I mean, that's that's really the question here. And that's that's what I find alarming about this entire survey is when you say to people, well, if you identify as a woman and you're really a man, you're a biological male, you can uh, you you can go into the ladies room. You can just waltz right in because we don't want to upset how you identify. So when it comes to this survey, if you uh, do not recognize the province of Alberta or any province in Canada for that matter, um, but you live within the boundaries of that. Is that similar to declaring a religious exemption on taxes by saying you're part of a church or the, well, and when I say part of a church, I mean somebody in a church, a priest um, who says they're exempt to taxes based on religion uh, by saying that you're within the boundaries, but you don't identify with the province. Maybe you should be getting all your tax dollars back. And I think that that's what maybe we should be pushing for in Canada moving forward is for everybody to start telling the government when it comes to tax season, well, I identify as a Canadian, but you know, I live within the boundaries of Canada, but I'm not technically on Canadian soil. So I shouldn't have to pay taxes. I shouldn't have to give you my money to waste, to hand over to the Ukraine for money laundering, to blow on lining the pockets of your friends um, I've heard multiple people in our live stream saying that they're going to refuse to stop paying taxes or refuse to keep paying taxes, I should say. Um, and I've always said, well, how do you do that? Cause eventually they come for you. They freeze your accounts. They do whatever you want. Uh, but this opens up a whole new can of worms, ladies and gentlemen, if you live in the boundaries of a province, but don't identify with it, what does that mean for your taxes moving forward? And more so, how do you feel about this outfit getting 2.5 million dollars of Canadian taxpayer money. Let me know what you think down below in the comments if it's your first time here. I hope this video, although very short, still earns your subscription as we're climbing to 50,000 subscribers. I'd love to hit that by the end of October in time for Halloween um, and celebrate with you guys in the community here. Uh, so make sure you're hitting that button and also click your bell for notifications to join me live here on the channel each and every Friday night for Friday Night Fringe, our live streaming show. 
where not only myself, but my beautiful wife, Mrs. Fringe, joins us on those live streams to talk about everything that's happened this week in politics, everything coming up in the weeks ahead, as well as some back and forth within our community. It's always great to hear what you guys have to say outside of making these videos, and my wife and I both look forward to hearing what you have to say each and every Friday here on the channel starting at 6 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Central. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you on the next one.